flight number 052. Please proceed immediately. Surely, surely not at this time. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> No. Okay, I'm ready, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only for a wagon mama's in London. Let me get one of these, man. Get the health going. Far in here as well. Now we're talking, guys. No oats. Oh. No square bars. Okay, Blasley. Exciting news update, guys. Uh, KSI and Logan Paul decided to reach out. They said, no, nah, this guy, this guy looks pretty cool. So they decided to <laughs> let me buy a bottle of Prime from W.A. Smith. Uh, so, we're about to get some food so far today. Today is like a big carb load day. Uh, so we're Wagamamas and we're gonna get something that has a lot of rice. Probably some sort of rice and chicken dish. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we like. What's your goal carb wise or do you not really have one? Do you know what? I was gonna track everything and I was gonna try and be really accurate with it but then like just because of the nature of today with already like having that sandwich and all by one and then having this you could probably track all of it if you really wanted to but i don't really need to because i can mm. kind of intuitively know whether i'm getting a lot or not and i think the goal today is just going to be a lot of basic basic carbs as much as we can uh i feel like when i get too full like that's when i'll know i'll stop because it's, mm. it's a lot for me to get too full so i reckon i'll be able to rinse through it how are you feeling two days out from the marathon <laughs> At the risk of sounding like, I don't know, not arrogant, but I feel good, I feel fine. I don't, I, I know it's going to be difficult, but I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god, how are we? Well, pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're currently going through a bit of a rebrand with the brand and... <laughs> a rebrand with the brand. Rebrand with the brand. And we're changing over right now. I mean, I'm going to show you in a second, so I guess I may as well tell you on here. It's going from aesthetic athlete to jacked, but we're going to do a whole thing about it. Nice. Um, for the 19 people that watch this, you, you guys will know early. And yeah, so graphic designer just come back. We've gone through the first kind of few stages of the process where he has sent, like, we've kind of dug down into like what I want the brand to be, the values of the brand, and kind of likes and dislikes and things like that. Then we kind of start with a vision board, we're putting ideas together. He's just sent me his like first three concepts of like what could work. Now, these aren't gonna be finished products. It's more of a like pick one that you like the best and if there's certain aspects of other ones, you can connect them together. So we've got the first one here, kind of like a yellow black style with the jacked logo, kind of with a K being a bit backwards, which I do like that sort of design. The colors, I'm, I like the black, but the yellow, I, I'm not 100% sold on, but um, and I think the text needs to be like bolder. Like the whole idea of, in my head of like jacked is that it's like it's big, it's bold, it's a bit more in your face. So it's jacked. whilst I like it, I think if we just almost like bolded the font times ten, <laughs> that would make it better. Um, but I do like the kind of style of it. Um, the next one we have is this. No, no, that's the same one. So kind of how it would look in real life. The next one is this, which I probably I like. That. I like the greener color. And again, I like the text, but I feel like it's a little bit too bubbly. Like yeah. I want it to be a bit like harder, more cut off. Um, I like this in the middle, like that's cool. But again, if we can make it a bit harder, I think it'll be better. Thank you. Um, I like the color scheme of this, like black, white with that kind of yellowy green, I think it's quite cool. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I like this. How it kind of look in sort of practice, like the style of that. Yes. Um, and then the last one, the last one I really don't like, um, is this. Ooh. It looks a bit too like corporate, like. Nah, that's not the one. Don't give it any time. Do you know what I mean? Like corporate, just soft. This is all right. Like I don't like in terms of the design. I don't like the font, but in terms of the J with the J's around, I think that's all right. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board in terms of what we, like coming out with the end product, but yeah, that's what's happening. We need all the salt. We have got chicken gyozas because they just taste fucking good. We've got beetroot juice for them nitrates, kind of keep them flushing through the system. Now we've got the chicken teriyaki don buri bowl, just for that big bed of rice at the bottom. So we're in. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Smile. Nice. <laughs> Epic. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. But this time, 
I'm here to talk to you about how disgusting I find airports. It's just pits, pits of hell, guys. So many people everywhere. Blaz is texting Anna to tell her how much she hates airports. It's disgusting. Guys, we've landed in nice. <laughs> it is nice actually, it actually is pretty nice so far. I mean, we've pretty much just got the entry to the plane to go back, but pretty good. We've landed, we've made it. And I need to pee. Chaz is hungry. We're going on with the second runway for Boeing to land, baby. <laughs> we need a bigger runway. <laughs> He's refusing to leave the plane. He says we need a bigger landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go. Make sure we actually get into the country and then pick up our bags, get our ass to the hotel, and we'll check in there. A little bit of last minute. Last minute fueling, Keith Lorraine, before we get our helicopter to the hotel. Look. Uh, the journey. <laughs> Kept that one a secret for you guys. <laughs> we're not gonna show you any footage from it though. Get to the job on. Yeah. <laughs> They've told us we're not allowed to film on the job on. So. so Sorry, but just know that we, we basically choppered. <laughs> it would look a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided if I ever have a daughter, she's getting called Lorraine. First name, Keesh. She's a sign. What sign? Outside it said, real taxis, no risk. Oh, fake, fake taxis. taxis. <laughs> risk. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know about fake taxis. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not getting fake taxis or real taxis. Because they fuck the helis. Fake helis. Extreme risk. <laughs> this is where we would be going. <laughs> this is where we'll walk now, just so you guys get a real... What would it feel like for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to keep on walking, though. So, if we were getting in a taxi, it would look like this. Pay by card is okay? Yes, sir, it's okay. Okay, perfect. This one. Just to check, yes. Ah, yes, Jean Hubert. Okay, yeah. all right, that's the one. Merci. Thank you. Taxi to the job. <laughs> Hotel looks cool, though. It's very cool. It's very dark in here. Whoa. <laughs> Wouldn't be a good omen. <laughs> yeah, I'll lose that. Ho ho ho! The boys come a rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> Fuck is on here. Where's the rest of the room? Ah, we're <laughs> so concerned there. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Look, enjoy fucking roasting in here. Nice. Jeez. Okay. All right, okay. A little shower. A little adjoining bathroom. <laughs> Classic, look at my bed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. She said it was ready to go. It is. We're gonna have some traditional French food, uh, steak hand shake. Steak hand shake? Yeah. I believe this is where This is the, what they uh, call steak, steak hand shake. Steak has shake. But yeah, this sounds good, man. We'll go here. There's one thing that's gonna fuel a marathon. Holy shit, man, you're gonna blow your panties out with that thing. <laughs> that's madness. It's gonna look that good on the camera, I won't lie. <laughs> it looks good in real life, guys. Incredible. So according to the taxi driver, it's better than McDo. And I can confirm it's better than McDo. McDo. <laughs> I sometimes eat it myself. <laughs> we made it to Cannes. Super early start, 5.30 a.m. to the airport in Edinburgh. From Edinburgh to London. A few hours in London. London to Nice. Taxi from Nice to Cannes. 100 euros later, <laughs> we made it to the hotel out for dinner, quick one, back at the hotel. It's been a long day, I'm tired, I'm ready for bed, and I'm ready for my shakeout tomorrow before the race day.
on Sunday. Wagwan, General. Uh, yeah, I feel good, man. I filmed stuff in Oslo. Hell yeah. So, it's an easy shakeout done. Not much to it, man. How far? 5k. Just under 5k. 4.83. In a casual 17 minutes and 35 seconds. Three miles. <laughs> BB my 5 <five> again. <laughs> yeah, go hit him. Go show this guy how you muscle up. Uh, goal is to always be able to just hit some pull-ups when you see a pull-up bar. We are in Nice. It's pretty nice. We're gonna go and collect my bib number, which I'm low key a little bit stressed about because it's all in French and I don't really know 100% where we're going. They're telling me to upload a medical certificate. I tried to do it like three times. It keeps telling me it didn't work. So, I mean, if that doesn't happen, then I don't know. We could be running a marathon we tonight. Could just be running a marathon myself. But anyway, hopefully it all works out. Uh, we're gonna go collect the bib and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Can't find my certificate. See you guys, it's marathon. It's not marathon. 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 Give me my race, baby, punch. Please give me my race, baby. Oh, a lovely place. Love it. Love it. First time in Nice. Can I get my bib, please? Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. It wouldn't be possible without you. Very super cool. <laughs> la 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 bib pleasure. Oh, I love you speak English. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Merci beaucoup. Ah. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Blasley. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. We've got two group jumbo baguettes. Jumbo baguette, oui. Oh, oui, madame. And deux petits Lorraine. Fuel. For the marathon. Marathon. So you got a plate there. Give us an update. So you're checked in. Oh, yeah, shit. We haven't updated fully. We've checked in, guys. Oh, We've got my bag. We've got my bed number. The panic is over. I was stressing about all that shit, but now we're checked in. Now I can actually relax uh, and just chill. Get ready for tomorrow, eat this food, and then yeah, I'm sure we'll check in properly later, but yeah, I'm just hungry. So it's now 3.35, the day before the marathon, and yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty tired. I think just being out and about this morning to pick up my bib, I was definitely low-key stressed about that happening just with this health certificate thing and then it not working and just picking it up. Anyway, it's all sorted. We've got my bib. We're ready to go. It's, we're, we're, it's officially definitely happening, which is good. And yeah, we met up with Tom for a little bit, had some just basic food, jambon baguette and quiche Lorraine from a very good bakery, went for a nice coffee and yeah, pretty much just been chilling in the hotel room for the last hour or so. Because, yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired. Uh, don't know if it's just from being out and about uh, this morning and being kind of like in amongst all the crowds and a bit hotter, but yeah, feeling a bit quite sleepy. So just chill out for a bit, watch some YouTube uh, and edited a few videos because I'm currently actually, whilst <laughs> running this marathon, we're actually revamping the entire onboarding process for, um, for the coaching because as I mentioned yesterday, we're kind of going through a bit of a rebrand, so I'm just changing the whole onboarding process, trying to streamline it all, make it even easier, make it even simpler. So when somebody new and a new client joins our our you know team and they want to get fucking jacked, it's just as easy as possible that for them to get up to speed. So like, I've been working on setting up this page actually, hoping you can see this. So like when somebody joins uh, new client onboarding, it's just a page inside of Notion, and they basically just make their way down. Uh, you know, we've got a coaching promise, we've got a questionnaire, some basic stuff that they'll need, 
like food scales, body scales, um, you know, that the app that we use to deliver coaching, all the basic things. How to actually use that app, and then these bits here I haven't done yet. I've just been editing. I filmed the videos. I've just been editing the videos that are going to go in there. So basically, it's like a seven-step formula for anyone who is interested in joining, or not even interested, who is joining to to get them up to speed ASAP. So you know, whilst obviously like this marathon has been my physical goal for you know the past four months, really, in terms of like what I'm doing fitness-wise, it's been one of the busiest times i would say so far with um with my business and you know i don't i never really speak about my business and stuff as much i think with on here because i just thought originally like i want to just do youtube to give people value in terms of how to get in shape but when i've thought about it more i think what i like i enjoy doing that but what i also really enjoy is just like talking about my business and like what i'm doing and more so to just be more sounds so like what everyone fucking says needs these days right like be more genuine with like how things are going and like what i've got going on so rather than it just being all about you know whatever the next goal is whether it's a marathon whether it's high rocks or whatever also talking about the business stuff so you know training for this marathon has been really good and i've enjoyed it but it has <laughs> it's come at a time where i've been super busy you know like we had we've taken you know i've now got two other coaches as part of the team which is awesome uh you know kind of onboarded one of that one of them so i had one murray and then onboarded malky as part of the team uh you know towards the beginning of training for this marathon and it's been like it's, it's been awesome it's taken so much off my plate but just with that then a bit more pressure to like you know grow the business more provide a better service to the clients make sure that they are actually getting you know the best results pot they possibly can you know the best results they can as quick as they can and as easy as it can be for them you know the speed and the ease obviously there's different factors to that that we can't always control but yeah anyway <laughs> that was what i was going to say in this clip so i'm probably just going to continue chilling Chaz is out um there's like some pull-up bars and dip bars outside he's going to do like a little workout out there i'm going to go meet him we're going to film a daily roundup video there i think we're going to go um hit the shauna after that so should be good. Right, interest. We're at the most talked about we are pizza gap. Did you say it? La pizza crusty. Apparently. And according to one taxi driver in Cannes, this is the best pizza in Cannes. So obviously it's where we go. <laughs> I was going to say, this is different. Keep in mind that someone told us this is the best pizza in the area. It's hard to live up to that. And I can tell you what, this definitely has not. Thoughts? Be honest. Honestly, I don't, I don't think it's bad. Though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not like the best pizza I've ever had, but I think it's like typical French pizza. <laughs> I'm not I'm not disappointed with the pizza, but I'm not like fucking buzzing with the pizza. Let's just say that. <clears throat> also, it's the debut of the race day stash. <laughs> Last night I thought fuck it. Let's do it. Probably the first time I've shaved my cheeks fully in fucking ages. Anyway. Two things I'm unprepared for this morning, or unprepared with. One is I don't have any form of caffeine. We've got coffee pods, which I'll probably nail one or two of them, but that's it. Um, so actually, that's that problem solved. Second problem is I don't have any fucking safety pins, so I don't know how I'm going to get my vest onto my top. I actually bought a stapler because I thought I could staple it to my top, but. That didn't really work, so I'm hoping when we get to the start line, they've got fucking safety pins. All right, <clears throat> it's time for the breakfast of champions. We have four crumpets, one banana, some Nutella, no plates, no spoons, <laughs> no knives. So 
I'm just gonna have to go old school. Eat it with my hands. Until we start, so we're gonna leave. We're gonna get an Uber to the start line. Figure out where that is, where the toilets are, and try and squeeze out one more before we go, just for peace of mind. And then I'm gonna ditch this bag, put all my stuff in here, including my shoes. Currently rocking the hotel slippers. Um, I think this is our guy. <clears throat> and then we'll fucking run, man. Thirty-five minutes until we start. Don't get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get a little bit shaky. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> this. <laughs> Good thing I didn't get a line bike. There's no way I'm getting a line bike. <laughs> Is that your line bike sound? <laughs> Good line bike sound. <laughs> nice, no, no, my God. I don't speak French. <laughs> All right, we're here. The start line of my very first marathon. Marathon. And yeah, feeling pretty good. A little bit nervous now. Everyone's been saying, oh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? And genuinely, I'm just excited. I feel like there's the smallest amount of pressure on myself from that I'm just putting on myself just because I don't want to totally fuck it but even if I do totally fuck it it doesn't really matter <laughs> this is just my first one so I'm generally just going to go and enjoy it it's a nice day it's not too hot yet we've got to run all the way over there um, yeah I'm just going to go and do it I need, I need a pee now nervous peas and there we go about 25 minutes till go time my warm ups on my long runs have basically been non-existent because it's just been cold and it's usually, I've usually been late getting out the door so I'm like do I even warm up <laughs> obviously I'll warm up Anyway, let's go. Pretty cozy. It's not how I envisioned it. <laughs> I've been married in jail. Thank you very much for all the good luck messages. Oh, 
Oh, oh my, god. my god, how are we? Well, pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> how was? It was hot. It yeah? was really fucking hot. What point did you just hit? Um, there was a point like maybe like 28k in. Yeah. Where we were like around like one of the loops. Mm. And it was like this mega hill. And I was like, fuck. And that was the first time I stopped to walk. I was like, if I try and run up this hill, I'm gonna be fucked. And then literally from like 20, after that hill, you kind of got the down, it was okay. Literally that last eight kilometers, I felt like I was like doing like 500 meters running and then stop for like 30 seconds and then run. It was horrible. I think it's just, my like my legs were just not used to running for like yeah. that time. Because actually, I'm pretty sure I PB'd my half marathon. Yeah, you got the first half. I was fucking, <laughs> but like I felt good. Yeah. And like, I felt really good. Like I was cruising and I was like, okay, maybe don't get carried away. But at the same time I was like, well, I'll just Love go it. as long as I can hold on for it and see what happens. But I think like, if I keep, keep running, keep practicing, I genuinely don't think it would take that long, maybe like another year of running to be able to hold that pace like throughout. Mm. But um, yeah, it was good. It was, it was, the first part was genuinely quite fun. The last eight kilometers was genuinely like so fucking hard. How was that? Um, 10 out of 10. Extremely hard. Maximum, maximum. How did you feel? Maximum. How did you feel? Uh, we won't go the worst, we'll go that one. <laughs> We're here with the marathon finisher guys. Just finish the marathon guys. Yeah, what's up guys? Turns out this whole time I've been saying it wrong as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep going at marathon. Happy? Yeah, happy. Good to have it. Good to have it done. I feel like when you go from zero to one in any of these events, you just like you that's the steepest learning curve. You know you know what you would do differently next time. But I genuinely I don't actually think today I could have gone like any faster than what I, I did. Like maybe I should have gone a little bit slower in the first half, but even then I quite enjoyed going fast in the first half, fast for me. And then even if I was fucked in the last 10k. I think maybe with slightly better fueling I could have like kept it going. But I think for me, genuinely just my legs just felt like they had nothing left in them. So happy to just get through like two thirds of it at a really good pace and then just like mental battle my way through the last third to get it done. So yeah, happy.